in a part of test four, and it will create the grade for test four. So integrals and substitution, anti-differentiation. Then I have limit of the Riemann sum. Uh, then we have uh, integral approximation. Uh, properties of the definite integral. Uh, and then I also have a, a fundamental theorem of calculus part one and part two. That's all I had. And uh, remember, a uh, web assign from 4.9, 5.1 through 5.5 have to be completed with minimum of 70% each in order to qualify to take the final exam. So there are several of you who have done nothing or very little. So please complete this so you can take the final. Please, please, I'm begging you. OK, I'm ready for any questions you may have. Anything you want to work on, anything you need help with, anything. I had one question from WebAssign 5.5. Yes. yes. I believe it's question 19 on there. OK. Do I need um, to open it? Do you or want me to tell you? Yes, or? yes, yes. Better than me looking for it. Yes. OK, then it would be um, the integral from pi over 3 to 2 pi over 3 cosecant squared of 1 half t dt. And it's just to evaluate the definite integral. OK. I'm checking my memory. I'm checking my memory. Oh, is that is that from last class? Yes. Because I checked on Canvas and I wasn't able to find the posted notes from that class. Uh oh. I don't know if it was just me. Uh oh. It will be fixed right this moment. Did I forget to upload that? Sorry if I did that. I'm, I'm fixing it right this moment so I don't forget. It is very possible. I doubt, but it's very possible. I'd rather check and apologize if that's the case. You are entirely correct. Yes, absolutely true. Absolutely. Will be added this moment. Thank you. Right this moment. Hopefully it cooperates. It's in the video, but it's not, you don't have the uh, lecture notes. Absolutely. So this was, uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for August, August 10th. Correct. I so. Yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. I have a little bit of a of an issue with um, with my uh, flash drive. Okay, it's there now. I will change sorry. the name. Thank you. Sorry, my apologies. Yeah, I'm sorry. I will change the name after class. Um, yeah, I do have a little issue with one of my hard drives. Not hard drives, but flash drive. So it takes I don't know why. Okay, it will it will upload. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Good. Next question. Anyone else would like to work on anything? 
Any questions? Anything you need help with? Again, for those of you, yes. For those of you who just, uh, yes. No, no, no. Let me write it. Fifteen. From five five. Um, yes. Website. Yes. So for those of you who just came in, um, please, in order to qualify to take the final exam, you have to have all the homework. 4.9 through 5.1 through 5.5. It scares me when there are two days before the final and this is not done yet. Please. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, it is the indefinite integral of x times the quantity 6x plus 7, that quantity to the 8th, the x. Good. So in this particular case, of course, use any notation. It doesn't have to be U, Y, Z, T, but not X. Anything you want. You can use A if you want. It doesn't matter. Okay, 6X plus 7. And if we don't get the DU, um, then we will have to do some work. But the DU uh, is only 6DX. Okay, so let me use a different color. So we have the 6 and the 1 6 in front. So now this with this will be the du. This, of course, will be the u to the 8. Now the only question is, what do I do with this? No, no biggie, because I can solve this equation for x. Moving 7 and dividing by 6. So this piece will be replaced by this. Remember, we cannot have two variables in the same integral. So from here, I jump here, and I have 1 6th in front. The 6 with dx, 6 with dx will be the du. This will be u to the 8th. And now I have this piece, which is u minus 7 over 6 times this. So what I do next, of course, I will put a 6 in front the integral, and I will distribute. I have u to the ninth minus 7u to the 8th du. Now let's stop for a moment and see if all steps are clear. Let's think for a moment and see if we have any questions before we continue. We haven't finished, but we're almost there. No, that's good. I actually saw what I did wrong, and it was just typing in the answer again. So uh, please continue so I can make sure I, I have all the steps right. Okay. But I think we're good to this point. Okay, perfect. Anyone else uh, has any questions? Okay, so I'm on page 2. So this is 1 over 36. u to the 10th over 10 minus 7 u to the 9th over 9 and plus a constant c. And I now have to uh, go back and um, replace u by 6x plus 7. So 1 over 36. Um, 6x plus 7 to the 10th over 10 minus 7 9th. Maybe it's better written like that. Uh, and we have 6x plus 7 to the 9th plus a constant c. It's an indefinite integral. And we have no choice. We have to go back to the original variable. Perfect. Thank you. Any questions? Um, I, yes. I had another question if we don't need to review anything with this. OK. So is anyone um, interested in asking a question? Or is there any doubts about this? or? OK, perfect. So let's look at uh, the next question. Uh, it's number 16 in 5.5. Um, and it's the indefinite integral of x cubed times the square root of x squared plus 41. Like this? Yes. Dx. Dx. Perfect. Of course, this is nothing, right? The problem is here, because we cannot take the square root from a plus b. Nothing can change that. It doesn't equal anything. So I'll say let y be x squared plus 41. Immediately I need the dy, which is 2x dx. The 2 is not a biggie at all. So 
so now I have to remember that x to the third will have to be split into x and x squared. One, this are the two, one x and dx will form the dy. This will be the square root of y. And now the question is, what do I do with the remainder of x squared? Exactly what we did with the previous problem. We will solve this equation for x squared, replacing it by y minus 41. And now, step by step, let's account for everything. One half stays in front. Two, one x, two, one x, and dx. Two, one x, and dx, du. The square root of y, the square root of y, so this is y to 1 half. And now I have a remainder of x squared. So the remainder of x squared will be replaced by y minus 41. Yes, I will distribute to these two terms. So now I have 1 half, the integral from y, to 1 plus 1 half, which is 3 halves, minus 41, y to 1 half, dy. Let's stop for a moment and see if there are questions before we continue. So we denoted the quantity under the square root by y. I immediately have to determine dy, which is not the derivative of y, but the differential of y. If you omit this, you're not going to get anywhere, because you're not going to know what to do with the dx. So be very careful. This is the differential of y, which is the function prime times dx times the variable dx of the variable inside it. So making up a number or a constant, or in other words, a factor, no biggie. We multiply by 2 and we divide by 2. This is 1. We didn't change anything. But makes it easier, because otherwise you have to solve for dx and still have to make it up. And you cannot put y and, and, uh, and x in the same integral. So be careful with that, please. So 1 half is outside the two, two, one of these three x's and dx will form the dy. Two of those will have the, will be replaced by y minus 41. Then this is y to one half and we accounted for everything. At this point I have to distribute. One half, y times y to one half is power one plus one half. One plus one half is three halves. Minus 41, y to one half, and dy. Every step here clear or any questions before we continue? Uh, I have a question. Yes, please. Uh, can you just go over again why x2 becomes y minus 41? Oh, okay, I see. Yeah. Better? Yes, thank you. Perfect. Okay, so now page three. Okay. So I have one half. Uh, y to three halves is y to five halves over five halves minus forty one. Y to three halves over three halves plus a constant c. I have to flip these constants. So I have 2 fifth. I replace y by x squared plus 41. Minus. I flip, so I get 82 over 3. x squared plus 41 to 3 halves plus a constant c. Yes, you can distribute the 1 half it will be helpful because I have 1 fifth x squared plus 41 to 5 halves minus 41 over 3 x squared plus 41 to 3 halves plus a constant c. By distributing here, the numerator gets simplified. And then 1 half times 82 over 3 will become 41 over 3. And not only we remove the factor in front, but we also remove the brackets. Very good question, thank you. Do you need help with anyone else? Anyone? 
Any questions on the steps, on the final steps? No, that was good, thank you. Sure. I messed up at the beginning with the X cubed. That's okay. Yeah, the X cubed has to be um, thought of once how did I how did I come up with that? Why? Because of dy. dy told me that I have to remove one of those three x's and incorporate it in dy. And then what do I do with the, the remainder? Oh, okay. y minus 41. That's why I looked not before. I created my substitution. I determined the dy because that's the next step. Absolutely the next step. After this, I have to find this. And then I said, oh, 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 okay, what do I do with this? Ah, I need one for dy, but there are two left over. Well, what do I do with these two left over? Oh, okay, it's from here. That's the thinking process. Very good. Other questions? Anything else? Did you need help with anything else? Okay, so then uh, let's look at anything that you would like to review. So the integrals and substitution, these are examples that we just worked on. Can I ask a question? Yes, Before anything, you? yes. Uh, how many questions are going to be from this chapter and how many questions are going to be from like cumulative? Um, cumulative about 15. Okay. Yeah, about five, four or five from this chapter. So it's probably going to be 20 in total. Total 15 out of which four or five from this chapter. Can we do um, another problem from WebAssign? Yes, of course. Anything. This is this is five point four. Yes. Number five. I'm Find ready. the general indefinite integral, and it's the quantity five plus tangent squared theta d theta. Uh, five plus tangent squared theta d theta. The indefinite integral. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Very good. So, in this particular situation, we have to refresh our memory on one of the identities of the trig identities, which is 1 plus tangent square theta equals second, secant square theta. Um, in, in uh, Calc 2, this will be much easier, but um, we, we have to use this at this point. So 5 plus tangent squared will be basically 4 plus 1 plus tangent squared, and this will be replaced by secant squared. Okay? We need to do this because we don't know how to integrate uh, tangent squared. Now, where does this come from? Very easy to remember. I, I'll come back to the problem in a second. So we know the, the most important uh, trig identity is this. Sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. Now, if you divide both sides by sine squared, you will get 1 plus cotangent squared equals 1 over this, which is cosecant squared. Or if you divide by cosine squared, you get that one. Sine squared plus co over cosine squared will be tangent squared. Cosine over cosine will be 1. And 1 over cosine is secant squared. So these two are very easily determined from the basic trig identity. Um, looking at... Um,